Shalom. First, I want to say, um, uh, that's all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and name is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Um, this, um, <laughs> pardon me for, you know, uh, you know, being a little, um, shaken up a little bit, but, uh, you know, I had a celestial combustion, you know, uh, two nights ago, and, uh, uh, I'm going to tell you um, the vision I've seen, and um, I'm going to read the, the um, precept uh, of the vision that I've seen, and um, hopefully it can be edifying to you, Akim out there that may watch this, um, you know, um, <laughs> I, I was uh, uh, fast asleep the other night, you know, I had, um, I left, uh, we had the, me and the brothers did a sit down for our main page of spiritual warfare. And, um, you know, um, I left the brothers, you know, and, um, came, came home and, um, I had a, um, did I have a drink that night? No, I, I didn't have a drink that night. I just drank my protein and, uh, we sit there, you know, watching, um, a movie. I was watching, uh, Son of God. And, um, you know, I couldn't watch all of it because, you know, I just hate seeing them devils trying to portray us, especially uh, trying to portray our Lord, you know. And, um, so I watched a little bit of it and I just turned it off, you know, because it was like, you know, knowing the scriptures, you know, and knowing how Yahweh Shah really was, they weren't really portraying none of his characteristics like that, okay. And so, um, you know, um, later on that night, I went to, went to sleep and, um, because uh, I remember uh, when, I, when, when the Lord uh, returned my spirit back to my body, um, uh, I asked, and I was able to, cause I couldn't talk, I couldn't really talk um, for a while. I had to get some water, some orange juice and everything to, to talk, you know. My voice was just, I couldn't really speak, man, when I, when I woke back up, and, you know, out of that um, uh, vision or dream, okay. And, um, man, it, it was, man, it, you know, um, uh, yeah, it, 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 you know, it terrified me, man. Uh, I'm gonna read this one. I'm gonna read this real quick. It's Joel chapter two, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Uh, uh, I was uh, in this vision. I seen Yahweh Shai, man, and uh, and I was just in the vision. I was just um, I was just seeing him. I seen his whole body, man, and I see him in the in the in the, you know. First, when I first seen him, it was he was up in the clouds in the heavens, uh, with the chariots, man. And I seen his whole apparel, man. I seen I seen the golden girdle, I seen you know the chariots. I seen him in his glorious apparel, man. It was, uh, man, it was it was beautiful to see him, man. But when I seen his eyes, man, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, it's like. Like the Heavenly Father uh made me feel a little of his anger, man, and it uh you know it uh it terrified me. Um I I trembled because uh I trembled because uh I I kinda I felt like Ezra's man, I felt like Ezra's man when he said, uh woe is me, woe is me, who should live who should deliver me in them days? And uh, Slack, you know, I'm getting a little emotional, but uh, now I really, um, you know, I really, um, I really, um, uh, man, it was like, um, uh, you know, it was like, you know, um, it's like coming face to face with a with an alpha male lion, that's the head of a pack. And um, when I seen his eyes, it was like a watching a, a lion 
you know, face to face. And I was just like, man, you know, Lord, uh, you know, man, his anger was just, you could, like, it made me tremble. You know, it made me tremble, man. And, uh, in that vision, I seen him, uh, he was just, he was doing a lot of killing. He was doing a lot of killing, man. And, uh, what precept came to my mind, which I'm getting ready to read here, because I remember in the vision, watching him just go through the midst of the people, man, just straight up killing. He was in a total, full blown blood rage, man. And uh, I was uh, a ways distance from him, man. And I was just perishing because, you know, we was out surviving and everything, and I was just perishing out there. And I remember looking up, seeing him devour a lot of people, man, just kill a lot of people. And I cried out to him, you know, and uh, right after that, he returned my my spirit to my body. And that's when I was trying to call out to his name. I was trying to say, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, save me. And I was like, just, just please, Yahweh Shai, come save me. And, um... Uh, You know, it had uh, scared my uh, my woman because when he returned my spirit to my body, I, I was just I was just caught and out and I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I couldn't I couldn't talk. And so once I began uh, I began to uh, gain consciousness. Uh, you know, I was kind of like just like mm, you know, like mumbling, like you know, I was trying to reach out for him, reach out for Yahweh Shai. And uh, yeah, it terrified her too. But uh, it brought me to this precept right here. It's uh, Isaiah 63 and 1. But you know, I'm going to get ready to read it. But uh, you know, Yahweh Shai is his anger, man. You know, he is the ultimate Jake, man. And he's not happy, man. None whatsoever, man. All right. And you devils out there, man. Y'all don't know what, what, what he's getting ready to do. All right, to you, man. Y'all don't rush you heathen, man. And the two-thirds of our people, man. Uh, you brothers out there that's laboring, man. Make sure you um you, you labor to the best of your ability. And you edify the Akim to the best of your ability. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm but a babe, you know. And this truth, you know, I have almost, you know, three years in, you know, um, uh, you know, hey, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's amazing, man, the things that, I'm, I've had two of these happen to me in my life, uh, but I'm just going to read how I've seen them, though, let's go ahead and read this precept, because, you know, I can go on and on about it, but, you know, just know that Yahweh Shai, uh, it's coming back um, in the same chapter. He said um, the day of vengeance burning his heart, and I'm gonna tell you, man. When I seen him, man, in that vision, yeah, it'll make you tremble. All right, Just, you know, to see him, to see his appearance. All right, but uh, I, I, I definitely understand Ezra's man. All right, now, this is Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Elam with dyed garments from Basra? All right, that's Yahweh Shai, man. That's the vision I've seen. Okay. This that is glorious in his apparel, in his apparel, uh, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Man, yo, he, man, that vision, man, was... Man, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Ratazah, you know, you know, your brothers out there that's doing this work, man, you know, you endure it, man. Abu Ratazah, I endure it, man. Um, he was most fierce, man. 
I never, I never seen the anger of a man on this earth, or hear tell of a man on this earth that anger was anything like it, man. His anger and his vengeance that he had in his eyes will make a fucking mountain just melt, man. I trembled, man, at his presence because it, it you could tell, it, you know, you could tell that he wasn't, you know, he wasn't in in the good mood. And I was just like, you know, when I woke up and I, I immediately, when I was able to gain my composure. I was like, man, you know, am I, you know, am I, um, you know, am I, am I, um, am I the brothers, you know, um, to the best of my abilities? Um, am I doing the work to the best of my abilities? Am I, um, um, doing my part, you know, filling my lot to the best of my ability, you know, uh, you know, uh, what's that scripture? Um, and, uh, just that uh, Second Corinthians, um, the first Second Corinthians. I say, uh, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. I think it's Second Corinthians thirteen chapter. And I, and I immediately examined myself, which I examine myself pretty much daily, you know. And um, it, it was man, yo, know, it was. I was like, you know, it's time to, um, you know, to give all you got. You know, which you know, I do my best to you know, put forth my effort or or my energy to 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 the plow. You know, to what the ability the most I give me. Okay, it says uh, back in Isaiah sixty three and uh, one. It says, um, "This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, might you to save." Verse two, wherefore, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? All right, man, you just seen like, and you know you you seen this vision, man. You know it was just bodies just flying, man. He was just he was just going through, man, just smiting people, man. I mean, he, he just smiting people, <laughs> and I just it's like I was just a oh, distance like a long distance away, like. Just perishing, barely you know, holding on for dear life, and I was just, you know, trying to um, call out to him, you know, and, uh, and I, I was like, man, you know, and I seen my savior, man. I seen our savior, you know, the savior of Israel, man, Yahweh Shai. I seen him, man. I was, I was crying out to him, like, man, Yahweh Shai, Baboku Shai, Baboku Shai, and he was, I was just trying to say, Yahweh Shai, please, say, you know, save me. I, I remember, I remember trying to say that. You know, right before I returned to myself, okay, or to this body, okay, I, I remember saying that, you know, because, you know, when you, um, what Paul said, uh, therefore, through the, uh, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, all right, and, and you got to know that, uh, the most high is the king of terrors, man, okay, and, um, uh, <laughs> Yahweh Shai said himself, my meat is to do the will of, of him that sent me, and Yahweh is sending Yahweh Shai, Back to to man, he's sending them back to 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 get busy, man. To, to straight up kill and redeem his elect, man. Nabarat the Zion, my partner, his elect, man. All right, and I seen that. I seen the bodies flying. I seen the blood spill, man. Now, this is verse three. It says, "I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me." For I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. I seen that, man. I actually seen that. And it and it made me, man, think, Lord, you gonna are you gonna save us? Like I had that feeling, like are you gonna save us? You know? Cause the scriptures say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And I trembled in that vision, man. It made my hey my woman she she watching me um have this um celestial combustion and when I return when the, when my spirit returned to my body um she was she was terrified she was trying to um she said she was trying to uh um grab me and just wake me up but all she said I was just kept I kept just moaning. And I couldn't move really. 
Yeah, I couldn't really talk, and it, it just terrified her, man. And then, cause I, I was, man, you know, I, I just, I, I was just, man. I, I never thought I would have a vision like that. First and foremost, you know, but it was most beautiful, man. It was most beautiful, man. Um, to watch you, I was shy, you know. Um, not, you know, I'm, of course, I'm back conscious uh, since that night, but um, to watch him. Destroyed this place, man, was actually beautiful, man. Okay? And uh, it says, um, you know, he trying to wine press alone, you know. Um, and he, hey, he, he's not, he's not um, um, what they portray him to be in the uh, movies. Um, When you read the scriptures and you actually see somebody trying to return in the movie, you know, it's just, you know, it's like the movie is like, you know, I never seen uh, the Passion of the Christ. I never seen that movie, but I heard it was kind of accurate. But I mean, you know, I never seen any Israelite man that was furious like that. But I'm telling you, man. I really trembled, man. I really trembled. Because I was like, man, you know, man, she's going to save us, you know. I was talking about me and the, the, the Akim that, that's labor, you know, you know. And I know he's going to um, redeem his elect and Abarat is out. We are part of the elect, you know. But, uh, you know, you just you do the work out of trembling, man, because you want to be delivered, man. All right. And, uh, matter of fact, it's, uh, verse 4 says, for the day of vengeance burning, it's like if for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem has come, and I've seen I actually when I looked into to his eyes, I actually seen that vengeance, man. I actually seen that vengeance, and it was just I was just like you know. I thought about I thought about Jake, man. I was like, man, Jake don't really know what's um what's going on. I was like, Jake don't really know. That Yahweh Shai, you know, <laughs> yo, he, he he's getting ready to do some work, man, on two thirds of, of Jake, man. Okay, and I was like, man, you know, I thought about how things are at ease right now, and I'm looking like, like all hell's getting ready to break loose. Okay, <laughs> um, so you, this is for you, Aki, out there that's laboring, though. I want to leave you with this, man. How to get ready to uh, close up and uh. Get to work. I just wanted to tell my vision, man. And uh that was rough to you, but it was. I ain't wanna I don't wanna hold you too long, you know. Um but this is for you Akim out there that's laboring, um Second Corinthians thirteen and five, it says, Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own self how that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is in you, except ye be rope, uh, reprobates. Alright. So you have to um Examine yourself, man. All right. This this race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but he that endured, man. And you have to endure this, man. You have to um, pray to Yahweh about Shemuel Shai first and foremost. You know, do be obedient do the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? You know, um, if the Lord put in your spirit to go out and teach, you need to go out there and teach, man. Teach to the best of your abilities, man. All right. If you're a reader, read to the best of your ability. All right, if, you, if you're a sign holder, be the best sign holder you can be. If you're a cameraman, be the best cameraman you can, you can be, okay? Okay, and uh, hey, nonetheless, do your part, man. Do your part, man. All right? So with that, I want to say um, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A hey, double honor to the other apostles of Great Millstone. Um, I want to say unsatisfaction to you. I came out there doing the work in all uh, truth and sincerity, man. Uh, Shalom to you. Uh, shalom to the elect. All right. Um, stay strong. All right. Uh, haste the day of our Lord Yahweh Shai to return. All right. Uh, he's coming. All right. Hey, make no doubt about that. He's he's coming and he's he's coming. Um, hey, with vengeance. Okay. So he, hey, the scriptures say, kiss the son lest he be angry. All right. You better do. You better do what, what the fuck he tell you to do, man. Cause he's not coming back to play no games with nobody, man. Okay. He's come back to destroy all right, the wicked and deliver his elect, all right? Shalom.